Hey everybody, Hey Dog here, and welcome back to another tier list video. This time we're doing a hell of a boss main characters because oh my god, there are so many characters in this show. There are over 500 characters because everyone just wants to use the background characters too. Uh, but I cannot subject myself or any of you to watch that. So these are like the main characters that are running the shows, the, the, the story a little. Uh, so without further ado, let's go on with Blitzo. Blitzo, of course, I love him. He's the main character. He is, I love uh, Brandon, his voice actor. I love everything about him and I love the how raunchy he is and such a douchebag he is and he's just so cool and I want to be him anyway he's going to S tier uh the teacher what was her name miss what is it miss frizzle no wait that's <laughs> wait that's the that's the one from the the magic school bus oh uh never mind not that one the uh this one yeah miss frizzle's not in hell or anything but uh yeah uh her the uh, one episode right she wasn't really like the one of their clients that was it i yeah i, I wouldn't say that good also if you may look at this and like oh well this doesn't look like your original tier list is from the other ones uh i'm doing it on my ipad because my computer uh won't freaking record so uh yeah this is all on my freaking ipad so uh hopefully it's actually a lot more smoother maybe i'll just do it on here like jesus christ it's a lot better anyway uh what was this guy's name wacky mr wacky is that his name the guy who says, I say, I say, I sit on you. No. I say, I say, I, boy, you better quit your dilly dallying. All right. Uh, he is super funny. I really like him. He is just the Joe character. Um, I know it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to put him in B tier. I know he's not really has much lot screen time, but I like him. So he's fun. Uh, what is it, uh, Miss, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Fizzerali. So, the amazing Fizzerali. This is the robot, the fully robot guy, animatronic. I do like him. Uh, I do like him because cause I do like animatronics because, you know, I'm a FNAF fan. Um, but, I mean, that's really it. They're not really, they're everywhere, but, like, just, like, I don't know, not entirely. I'm trying to say they don't have much screen time, and they don't really move the story around, so, eh, C tier. Uh, what's her name? Uh, o Octavia. Octavia. I really like Octavia. I think she's a sweet girl. She's very nice. Very nice voice. Um, just very, like, such a typical teenager. Uh, and she's just going through some hard times. And, you know, it just really, it really see it, like, real. It really seems real. And, you know, I feel bad for her with her situation with her dad. And it's just like... I, I feel that, I feel that, because I do have that with my mom and dad and these, you know, scenarios, and, you know, me being a young adult, I just, you know, uh, it's, times are hard right now, times are really hard and really uh, difficult, for so I relate to her a lot, so I put her in a, also she's just a, she, a, a cute girl. But, uh, her mother, Stella, 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 um, I do like it how she's kind of, you know, we get to see kind of an evil bitch here in this scenario, you know, usually the bad guys are guys, but like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, but like, you know, she, she is definitely a really bad girl, like a really bad 
bad person, but uh, I love bad, bad people just because it makes everything interesting and relatable, I guess. Uh, she has uh, been a very, I guess, like, thorn in Stolas's side. Uh, her attitude is, of course, super, like, she's got that stupidness. Also, I realized her voice actor is the same voice actor. If you don't know, if you never watched Brandon's videos, you should definitely do them. Uh, just a warning, it's very raunchy and it's very uh, adult humor. So, you know, watch on your own risk. But uh, she is actually one, she, she's actually a voice actor that's from Brandon's videos. Uh, and I was always like, oh man, Stella, that voice actor, I know her. And then she's the same one. She's like the blonde one. Uh, I forgot her name, but like she's in a ton of Brandon's videos, but she is hilarious. Mostly plays as a British woman, you know, from her British talk. But uh, anyway, go check out Brandon's channel It and those types of videos, you know, at your own warning. But, you know, please, because it's funny as hell. Anyway, her, I'm gonna put her in A tier just cause she's just a bad bitch. Now we got the second bad bitch. We got Verasica. I do like Verasica just because she's just one of those, uh, you know, past villains from Blitzo's uh, past. And it's just like another, you know, again, the other boyfriend on the Thorn side. Uh, if, that, if that made any sense. Um, she... She is sexy, though, I will say that. But, duh, because she's a porn star. It makes total sense. But, um, I will say, uh, I kind of wish we had more screen time, screen time of her. But, you know, for that, she gets a B tier. Uh, oh god, what was his name? Husk? No, that's the other guy. Uh, uh, Taz, I think, right? Taz? I'm, please comment down below if I'm saying these name wrong. I think it's Taz. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's actually one of, the, like, the cooler, chill guys. Like, I, I don't know, any show needs, like, a, a chill dude you know i feel like he he embodies that like vibe of like hey it's all cool man you know so honestly i'm putting him just because of that a, a tier oh this guy this funny dude oh i forgot his name it was like oh loop d mr loop d loop d loop d loo loopy or loop loop d i think i don't know him, uh, we don't really get to see much of him. His backstory and how he died, but like that was basically it. Now he wanted revenge. Uh, uh eh, C tier. He's not the worst. It's actually better than his teacher, but you know, not the best. Okay, for these three, I'm gonna put them all in the same one just so that we can, yeah, because they're basically all the same. But uh, the the Cupids, I think that that's their whole brand name. I do like them. I I saw the trailer and I saw them and I'm like working with the agents and I'm like, okay, this is this is badass. Like this is gonna be really awesome. Really like this is, uh, um, Jesus. Uh, I think they're gonna be really good in season two. Uh but for now season one they're pretty funny and pretty nice introduction to like how heaven is like kind of trying to manipulate people i don't know that's why i got out of it to being like no nah, don't you know you know you got a good life and then they you kind of see their true side once they get pissed off and like ah like fuck you like get out of our way we are trying to do this you know it's us. We are angels. We're the good guys. You are the bad guys. It makes sense, of course, if you've seen Has Been Hotel. Duh. 
you know, and there's the the gray lines between who's good and who's bad. But uh, for them, it is a big gray line with between the devils and the the angels. So or the imps and the angels or the cu- the cupids the cupids and the imp- imps. So uh, I'm gonna put them in B tier. I would love to see them again in uh, next time. But uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, Stolas again. I, ugh, Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna put him in S tier, just because he, uh, his voice, first of all, is so perfect for that character. Um, and his just his his design and how he's like this bird, like overlord is just so cool. And just how, I guess, yeah, he is an owl, right? I guess, yeah. So, it's kind of funny, because owls are, like, big and fat. But, like, Stolas is, like, skinny and, like, thin and tall. And it's, like, kind of weird. But, like, Stolas, great story, hard life right now, having to deal with all of that crap. And, like, just makes me want to just, like, ah, I feels. But, yeah. Uh, this guy, uh, I totally forgot his name. Uh, the guy that is, like, part, his business partner with Loop D. I don't remember his name, but, uh, him, he was kind of funny being, you know, like, just this old grumpy man just being like, No, I just like money, and I want it all. I don't care. And, like, then he's like, Oh, I see the beauty in life, and then dies, which was really funny. So, again, I'll I'll put him with his business partner. Um, oh, who is this? Oh, the, the, uh, angel that's like, (laughs) no, no. Um, yeah, wish I saw more, but not really much to talk about. Just funny bits about her. Uh, 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 Millie's mom. Millie's mom, I would say is, yes, it's, uh, not really much screen time again with these types of characters, and uh, I don't know, kind of like her. Maybe we'll see more of her. Hopefully, we'll. De- it's Millie's mom, so again with the dad. You know, I liked him because he was kind of like, yeah, this kind of sent. You know, can get a sense of like how Moxie and then the mother and father kind of like relationship with Moxie was just not good (laughs) and just like very stereotypical like oh the daughter loves you know her boyfriend or actually no they're married but loves you know her husband but the mother and father hate him because he's just not what they were looking for but uh yeah uh striker i love striker i don't know why i striker is just just this guy is i i love bounty hunters like like boba fett and like uh hitman and like i don't know why i just love i love bounty hunters because they only have one objective it's just to kill their target you know and it's it's cool i i don't know he's so cool and he gets away, and, you know, and we'll see him again. So, again, I'm going to put him in S tier just because of... Also, his look is just super nice, and his voice is just soothing to the touch. Now, uh, Millie's uh, sister. Oh, God. Uh, Sally. Uh, Sa- right? Sally. Yeah. Sally Sally May. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sally. I... Uh, in the in the previous uh, season, uh, I was like, eh, whatever character. But then we got to see the shorts, and I'm like, okay, this character's deep. Like the the she she just got bumped up. So I was gonna put her in C. Yeah, so I put her in B just because we got a lot of character development out of her. Okay, so uh, oops. So, the two agents, Agent 1 and Agent 2, I think, I think, um, these two, I do like them, I wish we got to see more, but we are gonna see more in Season 2, but they were, they were pretty funny, I would say, they were, they were the, the very 
you know, I got a lot of Matrix vibes, like, you know, about, like, the agents and, you know, I forgot what his name was. I think his name Agent One or something. Anyway, I got a lot of vibes from them and, like, Neo and, like, them battling. Um, but I will definitely see more, and I'm excited for that. So I'm actually going to place them in A tier just because they seem like real, like, troublemakers and like they're they're gonna they're gonna fuck shit up uh okay so then we have uh Fizzerali, the the original uh i i like him i really do i love his voice he you know does a great job a voice actor does a great job totally forgot his name but if i see him i'll totally remember his face uh but yeah um pretty uh pretty gnarly he kind of like survives a fire and then like i don't know he's his whole body's like robotic and like with all that hardship like like he's a burn victim and he's trying to deal with like you know just how like good looking he is and how he's just broken inside and just covered by a shell of metal is just Oh, it's so gruesome, but I love it. And that's why I'm going to put him in eight, or S tier. Cause, ugh. Again, with his boyfriend, um, Lust. Isn't that... Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, Lust. Love it. I love uh, the... Um, the Sins, the Seven Deadly Sins. We only got a couple of them, but, you know, love to see more. Lust is such a... I don't know. Again... <laughs> this voice actor's characters are so real and chill like i think he's just super like just wants love and that's just acceptance from the people he loves and it's just so nice to see him like that so i again i will put him in s tier millie 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 oh my god it, i the the whole like from pilot to like uh, season one, episode one, I was like, oh, is she gonna be, you know, the, I liked her voice, and then she got really, like, southern, and I was just like, mmm, like, the, the whole community was like, hmm, uh, mm, okay, I don't really like her voice, um, but it's okay, because now I understand why, because she lived on a farm, so it makes, you know, logical sense sense that you have that accent but yeah so i would say like her voice just you know down a letter but still a really good character and uh love how she just loves moxie till the end now oh uh gluttony i think uh totally forgot her name but yeah the sin of gluttony i think right yeah uh, she is very interesting. She seems like a very neutral character. You know, doesn't want to, like, pick a fight. or And she doesn't really want to, like, make people miserable. She doesn't look like a bad guy, but she also doesn't look like... She's more like an anti-hero. She, she, she doesn't really feel like she's going down a bad or a good path. I love her design, though. That's the only thing, like, that's good. And her voice is, uh... Oh, I forgot her voice. Uh, it's, like, from, um... I totally forgot her voice. It's from a famous person. And I know you're gonna totally comment down, Um, her voice actor is this. And it's, like, I know it's... I knew it. Uh... But yeah, she, she is great voice, great design. And she just looks like she's a character that's not not bad and not good and i really like that so i think i'm gonna put her in a now stolas's dad little daddy uh very awful character and um apparently he's the same uh voice actor as the guy from um oh god what was the movie disney movie from Al aladdin yeah aladdin the the bad guy from aladdin I forgot his, the bad guy's name, but literally he is the bad guy from Aladdin. And I'm like, oh my God, that makes so much sense why he's designed like that. It is like 
carbon copy. But again, we haven't seen much, and he's kind of a dick, and I love that, but, you know, wish we could see more. Uh, Blitzo's dad. We got the dads. We got the bad, the bad, every dad is bad, I guess. But my dad's good. He's, he's great. I love my dad. Uh, but this dad, not good. <laughs> kind of a dick. Kind of a dick. Kind of just very greedy and very doesn't, doesn't care about Blitzo. But cares about Fizzerali, of course. Because, you know, he's the one that's making money for him. So, again, put him in like C. Here we go with another bad dad. We see, uh, Moxie's bad, bad dad. And I, I, I like the... I like Moxie's dad a little better than both of Stolas and Blitzo's dad, just because he gets a lot more screen time. He's with the mob, like, <laughs> I mean, like, that's fucking dope, I guess. And it's just so super, like, he's just, he's really bad. Like, I, you know, it's implied that he killed his, his own wife, like, which is like, okay, just because he was disrespecting the family. She was disrespecting, so I, I gotta kill her, you know? Uh, but yeah. Again, B, I am, that's why he gets B tier for me. Uh, oh god, what was his name? Oh shit, the, 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 the sexy shark. The sleazy shark guy. Forgot his name, oh my god, oh my god. Uh. I totally forgot. Uh, but yeah, him, honestly, I liked him, but uh, th th he kind of was just missing a lot of points, and he just, I don't know, he wasn't, yeah, and then he died, and then he was just like, and just in that one episode, so I honestly, D tier, and he, you know. Uh, oh yeah, Stolas's, or not Stolas's brother, uh, it's Stella's brother younger brother i think or just brother yeah or St yeah stella's brother um he looks like he could be kind of like a bad like another like kind of looks like a uh oh what's their name like a a guy who rats you out you know probably he'll do that he'll probably do a bunch of scummy crap so but like until then we really don't know so c tier but i'm hoping for that uh blitzo's sister right yeah sister uh she kind of got nothing and then she was kind of in the controversial episode of that the the camp episode so i don't know i she eh, i wouldn't say she was bad but like we don't really know much about her and she was in rehab and then she escaped and then she was doing some like dirty work and it was just like okay but we really don't know much and i i don't know i think she she gets a d tier just because mammon now i will say he is a very crazy character and uh the the uh sin of greed yeah sin of greed yeah glutton lust and greed so mammon the sin of greed looks awesome and that's literally what i would i love his aussie accent that's a british accent aussie accent yeah all right uh but again one episode maybe more so putting this guy in the B tier. Hopefully it'll be in more. Uh, this guy, uh, kind of a dick. You know, just to be a dick. Uh, again, not really much to talk about him. Then he dies, so D tier. Uh, the two, uh, sister fish girls. I would say they were okay. They weren't, like... They are just mean, bitchy girls, so... Uh, but their design is, like, crazy cool and I, I the music video was great so I, i'm putting them in c tier moxie 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 one i love the voice actor and i love you know Inz invader zim guy and uh oh fuck oh, what, what was he in also oh yeah he was the uh, skylanders uh the 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 bad guy 
forgot his name. But, like, I'm like, oh my god, it's him! <laughs> he's Moxie, I love it! And it's it fits him so well, and he's such a good character. And I love, you know, he loves his wife, and he he's just such a great character. And he's, he's you know, gets beat up a lot. But he he's one of the greats, I would say. So, right, right with, uh, right with Millie. Luna, I like Luna. I think she is, her voice actress is so, so cool. And, um, I just, I love the design of Luna and just, like, how goth she is. And, like, the relationship with Blitzo and, you know, dad and daughter is just super cute and adorable. Um, and it, she's just, I don't know. And with, like, I don't know, I don't know. With all of that, she she she's just really chill and really nice. But she, I mean, she does she does she is a she is a a, a very angry temper, short temper. That's that's the word, short temper on her. But you know what? Uh, we all have that. So uh, again, the crew is in a tier. Uh, the little kid that's there in the pilot episode. I don't know. He dies or whatever. Uh, the, the whole family there, again, is just there, so I'm just gonna put them all in D tier, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. There's my tier list of, um, Hell of a Boss, all the main characters that are, contribute to the show a lot more, because they're all, like, over too many, too many to count, uh, and all of those, so, uh, uh, you know, again, this is my opinion, so don't be too offended if your favorite character wasn't S tier. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys liked it, comment, and subscribe. See ya!